Hi, this is Jed with MathFix. Thanks for stopping by. I know you're here because you're struggling with math. I get it, I understand. And teachers are probably not really paying much attention to you. And your parents, you know, they're worried that you're not going to be uh, doing well in math and you won't have a great career. I get it. Uh, and you know, I had the same, I had the same problem when I was uh, growing up. In grade nine, in my first semester in math, I got 50%. And I knew I had to work really hard. And I was challenged. I had I got a lot of uh, errors, I got a lot of mistakes on my problems, but I started getting more right answers than wrong answers. And by the end of the second semester, I got 75%. And you know what? That made me feel so much more confident, and I knew my parents were going to get my report card, so I knew I had to work. So keep on working at it. And you know what? It's, for me, it's led to uh, an honors degree in physics, and I have a master's in business administration. It's led to great things. So I encourage you to start working hard in math. Now let me tell you, let me change the subject. Let me tell you what I think math is really about. There's two different things. One is having a quantity, so understanding what quantities are and describing them with numbers. So for example, when I look at a package of eggs, I'll say that's 12 eggs. Or if I pull some money out of my wallet, I'll say, well, that's $15. Okay, so that's, that's identifying the quantity. Now the second thing is making relationships between two quantities. So for example, let's look at that package of eggs. I see 12 eggs, so I know that's one dozen equals 12 eggs. That's a relationship, that's algebra. Um, if I look at 30 eggs, then I know 30 divided by 12, that's two and a half. So I know two and a half dozen is 30 eggs. And the other thing about like the, the uh, $15, maybe that's three $5 bills. That's algebra also. So these are pretty basic com com concepts, two different concepts. Quantities, right? understanding math by putting quantities on things. The second thing is relationships between quantities. Um, now I know you already get that. Most people already understand how to do this. Uh, you know, uh, So I, I'm, I'm sure you've already got that. Now you're running into a little bit of a wall and you need help to push through it to understand the next level because math is progressive. So I urge you, please watch my videos. Take, take time to look at my lessons um, and please subscribe to my channel and I know you're gonna do well. Just keep on working through it, okay? Thanks.